Hi darlings, welcome to a new fashion video. It feels like a little while since I stood in my bedroom and had a little chat with you guys. We are back from Ibiza, but don't worry, there is still so much Ibiza content still to come. I'm just waiting on a few edits, so stay tuned um, because the things that we shot out there are gonna be absolutely insane and there's already quite a lot over on my Instagram so I'll leave that link down below have a little watch if you would like some summer holiday inspo today we're going to be talking about the things that are new in my wardrobe for the month of June and the first week or so of July as always there is a lot here to show you so I feel the need to just remind you that this is not a normal amount of um, products to have in a new in. I very kindly get gifted a few products by brands when I work with them on projects and I buy far more than the normal person because of my job so please don't think I'm setting the bar here at all this is not normal but I know that you guys really enjoy when I show you the new pieces and share with you ways that I've been styling them and maybe if you want to pick up one or two then I hope that I have provided you with the information to make a really good clothing choice, but don't think this is normal at all because I assure you it is not. With that said, everything that I mentioned in today's video and everything that the pieces are styled with will be linked down below in the description box. So if you want to find out any more about anything or shop anything, then it will all be down there. The description box is gonna have everything you need. And also today I am gonna be trawling through the Nordstrom sale to pick out some amazing pieces. I know a lot of you guys are based in the US and even if you're not, Nordstrom shipped to the UK and I think they ship everywhere. I'm going to be basically spending this afternoon doing a little bit of an edit for the best things to buy in the Nordstrom sale because I know it's really overwhelming. So I'll leave the link to my edit down below and I will be doing lots of Instagram stories and even a dedicated newsletter on the Nordstrom sale. So if you're interested in getting anything at an insane bargain, it's probably one of the best sales I've ever seen. Some really beautiful classic things that will work so well in many different kinds of wardrobes. So I'll leave the Nordstrom content linked down below as well. But without further ado, we've got a lot to get through. So let's get started with what I am wearing. I have been living in this dress both here in the UK and abroad. It's one of those things that you just throw it on and it works for so many different occasions. I have been wearing it just to relax around the house. Today, working from home, it's really comfortable, lightweight material, not getting too hot and flustered when I'm wearing it. But equally, I wore it out with friends yesterday and it's just been working for so many different occasions. It's got these very handy little pockets, nice thick straps, um, and it's a very flattering cut the way that the fabric is shaped with these stripes. It's more fitted on the bodice and then just really loose and relaxed on the skirt. So I've been getting so much use out of this. I don't think you guys have seen this before, um, but if I do any more vlogging this week, then you most certainly will because it's one that I've been wearing on repeat. I've got quite a few swimwear and holiday kind of pieces to share with you in today's video. I'm just gonna mix up the order to keep it, keep it exciting. The next thing is this beautiful new swimsuit. It's got a waist belt and um, you can either wear it with the waist belt or you can take it out entirely, it's up to you. I actually think it's really flattering with the waist belt. So it's this very uh, kind of natural looking polka dot. You've got this crossover detail with a frill in the front, so really flattering. I love the thin straps as well, so you get nice tan lines or no tan lines at all if you keep moving them about. And then it's very low on the scoop of the back, so you still get enough sun on your back too. I don't like it when swimsuits have a really high back, I just feel a little bit encased. The straps are adjustable the um, leg holes come up quite high which I find really flattering. I wore this in Ibiza with a beautiful robe that I'm going to show you in a second on our boat trip on the fourth day and I just felt fabulous wearing this and this was the one that I also paired a lot with shorts as well so I've got my Zimmerman shorts and my Topshop shorts which are just here. I just found that the swimsuit itself made enough of a statement to almost be like a top as well so it worked with both beach occasions and if we were going for lunch and things like that. The shorts themselves I absolutely love. I think you may have seen these in a Topshop haul video. They've got the kind of bamboo style ring around the buckle. They've got little pockets. They're really nice and high-waisted so very flattering to wear. They make your legs look a lot longer and then you've got this zigzag detail down at the bottom which I personally think gives them a bit more of a luxury finish. They have almost got Zimmerman vibes to them and just kind of an essential on holiday. I find that either a strappy top or 
a swimsuit with a pair of white shorts is a really easy, easy to wear, easy to pull together outfit when you are on holiday or living in a hot country. A bag that you might have spotted is this beautiful one from KU. I was so glad I took this to a Ibiza. It's really easy to pack because obviously it just goes down totally flat. And I was actually surprised with how much I was able to fit in this. I used a dust bag to put all my essentials in and actually that was that worked really well because I just took the dust bag um, and put it in different bigger bags depending on what bag I wanted to take with me that day. And when you've got a bag that's a little bit gappy, like you can see this has got holes in the straw it meant that nothing was gonna get wedged or um, meant that my belongings weren't on display but visually this bag I just thought looked absolutely fabulous I wore it in particular one evening when we went out to this gorgeous rock called Es Vedra and I thought it looked so stunning in that golden hour lighting and this is from the Net Sustain collections they've worked with the designers to ensure that everyone is paid fairly the methods that are used to put this together are really sustainable so it's really nice that you know that it's come from a good place as well I'm sorry if you can hear scratching noises in the background but Dickens is in a really weird mood today and he's currently just scratching at the carpet I've told him he's not gonna get anywhere but he is not listening to me so apologies about the background noise next is another swimsuit and this one I bought because okay I know I said that the tie-dye trend I was never gonna buy into but when you are faced with a trend so often sometimes you just you just want to try it a tiny bit and I thought a swim suit would be a really good way to get the tie-dye trend into my wardrobe so this kind of reminded me of the Dior tie-dye swimsuit and there is no way I was going to spend Dior prices on a swimsuit this one was far more affordable but definitely gave me the look that I was after and I was able to participate in the tie-dye trend without spending a fortune if you watched my um, fashion dilemmas video where I answered your questions I said that it is always better to go to the high street when it's a real trend kind of theme for example tie-dye instead of investing so that's most definitely what I did here. Again, as you can see, it's got really nice high leg sections, so very flattering, skinny straps, and it looked fantastic when I wore it with shorts, with a little dress over the top. So yeah, a really fun swimsuit from, so yeah, that was a really fun swimsuit that I was very glad I took with me. Something that I often wore with my swimsuits while we were away um, is this pair of trousers. I really particularly love the bottom detail, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see very clearly, but it has got little shells down at the bottom, which just gives Gives them a really lovely kind of bohemian beach vibe. Elasticated waist so super easy to pull up especially if you've got sun cream on or if you're a little bit warm after spending a day on the beach you don't want to be pulling on anything tight. Don't know about you but putting on a pair of denim shorts after a day on the beach is my worst idea of a nightmare but because they're an elasticated waist and really lovely lightweight material these are just the perfect thing to pop on when hopping back in the car to get back to the villa after a lovely day on the beach something that you guys have probably seen quite a lot of but i don't think I got it in time to film last month's What's New in My Wardrobe is this beautiful lace dress from River Island. I am a huge fan of white lace dresses in summer and this year this is the absolute favourite. Low v-neck, you've got the um, lace see-through pattern there, you've got three quarter sleeves, lovely long length. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is pockets but this is fantastic for wearing both for, you could even get away with wearing this for work but for me this is an absolute essential for a summer wardrobe so I've been getting tons of use out of this beautiful dress from River Island. I have a couple of things that are new in my wardrobe that I actually haven't worn yet. So I received a Reese order just before going to Ibiza. I took a few things with me and a few things I didn't take with me just because I basically had no more room in my suitcase but I will show you them in the try-on clips now. And first of all, we have this beautiful blue dress. I love the lightweight material of dresses like this. I'm not sure whether I could get away with wearing this for a wedding. I mean, obviously it is majority blue, but you do have that light, almost white color in the background. So probably not. Uh, maybe if there's like a wedding breakfast the next morning, then that could be a lovely occasion to wear this. Otherwise, maybe I could wear it for our next day at Wimbledon or if I have any other lovely summer events, but beautiful light material it's got this gorgeous frill detail, a little tie detail around the waist so you can cinch it in if you want to create a bit more of a silhouette and my favourite midi length. So very elegant dress, gorgeous lightweight material which makes it perfect for summer events and it is lined so you don't need to worry about showing any of your undergarments either. Next from Reese is this beautiful skirt. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe but you guys know how much I love midi skirts slash maxi skirts. I think they look so elegant and I actually find them more versatile and easier to style than jeans. That's just my personal style. So this is like a crepe material or 
crepe, not sure how you pronounce it, but a beautiful lightweight material. It's going to have the most gorgeous hang to it. I think this is just going to be a real, a really elegant piece to style in my wardrobe this summer. It's mostly straight up and straight down, but then it's got a very subtle flick at the bottom, and I think that the movement in this is going to be absolutely stunning. I opted for a size 4, so the smallest size that Reese do, usually that fits me perfectly unless something is super tight, in which case I'll go up. And this is definitely one that you'll have to be conscious of what underwear you're wearing, definitely recommend some nude seamless underwear when it comes to wearing something like this. A beautiful lightweight blouse for me is a real essential in a summer wardrobe and especially within a work wardrobe. I would imagine pairing this with a pair of white trousers, maybe smart white trousers for work. I could probably pair it with the white skirt that I showed you earlier. It's a lovely lightweight blouse, again from Reese. You've got this uh, lace detail at the top here so it's going to show a little bit of skin which I think is a really nice effect. You might want to wear a strapless bra because I think that if you can see a bra strap it's just going to potentially ruin that slightly more polished look if you can see a bra strap. It's very smart in the actual design. It's got shirt style sleeves. You've got buttons going all the way down. You could even wear this over like a silk or a satin cami top and just have it over your shoulders if you want to. But a lightweight blouse in a neutral shade I think is such an easy thing to style in the summer months and the kind of thing that you're going to get so much wear out of. When I go to premium retailers, retailers which are a little bit more expensive than your top shops and your River Islands, I want to go for pieces that I will wear over and over and over again. So something like this that is incredibly versatile is very welcome in my wardrobe. This next top was very kindly gifted by Ted Baker and it kind of reminded me of a ballet jumper in that it's got this crossover detail and the tie. I don't know if you guys ever did ballet when you were younger but I had this long sleeve jumper with a little tie detail and um, yeah, very reminiscent of this. As usual it's got the lovely details that you expect from Ted Baker, there's a lovely little gold kind of charm down at the bottom here. The fabric is beautiful quality, this is going to look so elegant. I think you could pair this perhaps with my pink Reese skirt for a special occasion. Again not a wedding because of the white shade but if you've got a nice dinner to go to then this is going to look so timeless. This next dress got so many questions when I wore it over on my Instagram and it is from LK Bennett. It is currently in the sale. It's this gorgeous big white dress with this really kind of large floral pattern on there. It is lined apart from the top section so you don't need to worry about your underwear showing but just a really fabulous dress. It really makes a statement but while being classic and neutral at the same time. It's got a waist belt so it's not like a giant tent because there is a lot of fabric going on here. I would say if you live somewhere really hot or if you're going away somewhere really warm it's quite a lot of fabric. I did wear it in the early mornings for breakfast one day we went out for breakfast and it was perfect but I have to say by the end of breakfast I was pretty warm wearing this. One more new piece from Reese and it's another crossover detail. This ballet crossover style is obviously coming into fashion so it is this beautiful top. You can see the material is so lovely. It's got a bit of a sheen to it like a satiny sheen. The clasp is yellow gold which is a really very elegant design detail and even though it's crossover it's still a v-neck so it's not going to be revealing your underwear underneath so great for modesty and then there is a zip at the back and from the back you can see the silhouette a bit more it's got a bit of a kick out a little bit of a peplum so this is just going to create the most beautiful shape something to match the swimsuit that i shared with you earlier is this fun little polka dot play suit really lovely lightweight cotton material just a very simple and easy thing to throw on after a day on the beach or if you are just hanging around the villa or hanging around the hotel. I think this is a fantastic, very lightweight thing to wear on your summer holiday. The back's got a low dip too and then you've got this really nice double strap detail which just makes it a little bit more interesting than a single spaghetti strap. Not too much to say about this really, just a really fun little short play suit which is fantastic for wearing on very hot days um, both at home and away. So this was a little combo that I absolutely loved wearing in Ibiza and I wore them both together and as separate. So it's a very lightweight material. Uh, it's not really a blouse because it doesn't have, doesn't have any buttons or a real closure aside from this tie at the bottom so you would want to wear this over a swimsuit or over a little camisole because um, yeah, it doesn't fasten in the middle, but I thought it was absolutely fabulous for wearing at beach clubs. I wore it with um, a gorgeous swimsuit, which I'll show you in a second. With the shorts, when I got a little bit too warm, I just had the shorts and the swimsuit on for breakfast. The shorts and the blouse have got this gorgeous, kind of like applique detail, where it's got like a floral pattern very subtly in the fabric. Not really sure if the camera's going to pick that up, but a really beautiful, very subtle detail. And then the sleeves of the blouse have got like a pleated effect, so you get some really nice design details 
These, I have to say, did get very creased in my suitcase, but luckily I took our steamer with us, and I get so many questions about our steamer. If you're taking a lot of materials like this, then I would definitely recommend investing in one for both at home and when you're away. I'll leave our steamer linked down below because it is fantastic, and it kept these items, even on day two or three of wearing them, it just kept them looking fresh and as though they had just been dry cleaned. Something I love to invest in in summer is new sunglasses, so I do have a few pairs to show you. First of all, this gorgeous, very classic pair from Valentino. I really love Valentino sunglasses. They always are just very timeless. They make enough of a statement in that they're just very elegant. Can't quite put my finger on what it is, but I always think Valentino sunglasses look absolutely fabulous. These have got a little stud detail on the arms of them, and then the front is this kind of tortoise, light coloured tortoise shell effect. I've said this a few times before, but one of the many reasons I love Valentino sunglasses is they don't have little nodules on the nose, so you can very easily put them up on your head and it's not gonna ruin your hairstyle when you take them off again. So that is a very practical reason why I'm a big fan. And I also have a beautiful new pair from Amanda Wakely, which I found myself wearing so much while we were away. They've got rose gold arms and then they are almost like a very light pink pinkish grey around the um, around the actual frame of the sunglasses. These I thought were just a little bit softer, a little bit uh, more suitable for the evenings perhaps, when it was that low golden sunshine and yeah, just a really, just a slightly more feminine and dainty pair of sunglasses for the trip. Another beach accessory that I absolutely loved and you guys will have seen me wearing a lot of hats over on my Instagram, two very different and very different price point hats. This one is from Netta Porter, the brand is Aquazura and it is a very rustic style hat but as you can see it's covered in little shells and gemstones and I loved wearing this so much in Ibiza. I think I said in the video where I first showed you this that if you have the need to wear a straw hat quite a lot, if you live somewhere beachy or if you've got a villa somewhere or you travel a lot, then I think it's worth the investment. But if you just want to do some poolside posing, then this hat I got so much use out of. I think I used this, wore it at least once a day while we were in Ibiza, whether it was for taking a quick picture or sunbathing with it over my face and creating a bit of shade for myself. It's only from ASOS, it's nice and affordable and I loved wearing this so much and it really did just make my pictures look a little bit more extra so whether you want it for posing or practicality I would highly recommend this giant hat from ASOS. One of the dresses that I wore a couple of times while we were out there is this new one and this does have a little bit of kind of Zimmerman vibes to it. You can see the straps have got this trimming detail which I always think makes a dress look really lovely, a little bit more expensive. The skirt has got just the most beautiful flow to it in this paisley pattern. If you watch my 10 summer trends video you'll know that this kind of boho ditzy uh, paisley pattern is very on trend this summer. And then I really loved the neckline of this. As you might be able to tell I'm a big fan of square necklines. I think they're so elegant. I love how they look. I think they're very flattering as well. And yeah this was just the perfect dress for putting on in the evenings and because it's maxi, it just made a bit more of a statement, but then because of the very light material, it's like a very light cotton material, I think this could be dressed down for the daytime with a pair of flat sandals and a big straw hat as well. Another fabulous dress, which you guys will have spotted on my Instagram, or if you saw my behind the scenes in Ibiza vlog, is this spectacular Zimmerman number. It's got the loop detailing that I'm always talking about, which is very synonymous with the brand. It really is a statement dress. You've got these beautiful ruffles up on the sleeves, tight on the bodice, and then just a little bit of a kick out, a very subtle A-line shape. Beautiful embroidered floral detail. It looks a little bit like the kind of old school um, cross stitching you used to do when you were little. Not sure how much the camera's gonna pick up, but that's a really nice effect. And then you've got these sheer sections where the lace just opens up the dress and just gives it the most beautiful effect. I wore this for a couple of different evenings in Ibiza and oh, just felt so amazing when I was wearing this. Treated myself to an another Zimmerman dress. I honestly love that brand so much. This time a little bit more of a casual number. I love smocking. I find it so perfect for summer and I thought a smocked dress like this would just be so versatile and the kind of thing that I'll wear on all of my upcoming trips and here if we have a special event in the UK as well next time you have a nice barbecue this will be fabulous. So you've got the detail quite similar to the uh, prairie style dress I showed you around the edging like this trim here is very lovely. Also on the straps again not sure if the camera focuses enough to show you that but there's very colourful smock detail that goes around the bodice and then it floats down into a really beautiful floaty skirt and you've got frill 
down at the bottom with the same trimming, just finishing off in such a beautiful way. Straps which you can tie up in a bow above your shoulder. And because it's so loose, it only really clings to the body in one place. If you watched my how to look chic when it's hot video, you'll have seen that I'm talking about making sure your garments are really airy and not stuck to your body. That just meant that even though there's a lot of fabric here, I never felt overheated and the material itself is beautiful and breathable, so it's fantastic for wearing on those much warmer days. This next swimsuit really doesn't look like anything when I hold it up, um, but I will hopefully try and find some photos here to pop on the screen because this looks really lovely on. The colours are just absolutely gorgeous. It's even got a coral lining. I mean, you probably could flip this and wear it inside out, but then it does have some boning, so maybe not. Um, but the colours of this are so flattering when you've got a bit of a tan. It's got a crossover detail, so it just reveals a little bit of skin on the side here. And then again, high um, leg holes, so it's very, very flattering. I would say make sure the straps are pulled to the tightest that you need them because I did have a little bit of a revealing moment, let's just say. But yeah, this looked fabulous. And if you're going anywhere really fun on a girls' trip, we actually spent the morning at this hotel called WikiWoo. Again, I'll leave my Ibiza vlog link down below. There is another longer, more edited, stylized vlog coming very soon. But this was just so fun around the pool. They had like giant lollipop statues and pink sunbeds. So yeah, I felt really cool wearing this. If you prefer if you prefer a slightly more demure beach style, then this swimsuit again, I felt absolutely fabulous wearing this. There's something so chic about black. I don't own much black at all. This is probably one of maybe three black things in my wardrobe, but I just thought it was so stylish. I love the very thin spaghetti straps. Of course, they're adjustable. And then you've got this kind of tropical, it's got a tiger on it actually which I mean if I could change anything I'd probably take the tiger away but I was wearing this with high-waisted culottes on our boat trip and I felt very fabulous wearing this I felt very glamorous we have a really cool photo I'll pop on the screen here um, and by the way there's gonna be tons of blog posts with all the content we shot out there because there is a lot of it so much more to come but yeah I felt very very chic when I was wearing this on our lovely boat trip speaking of the boat trip this robe was one of my favorite things to wear during the trip it is the same beautiful lightweight almost shift on style material um, as the set that I shared with you earlier. This doesn't have any of the floral embroidery though but it does have some beautiful pleated detail the way that it's been sewn together and the pattern of this is absolutely gorgeous and so elegant. One that you definitely do need your steamer for though but I have to say even though I'd like wore it in the car and I chucked it in my bag after being on the boat it was creased when I put it on when we got back to the villa and it didn't look bad when it was creased but I would still take a steamer with you anyway. This is the kind of dress that I probably would never do the buttons up for because it does come with a waist belt and I just literally wore it like a robe when we were getting going to lunch or when we were just mooching around on the boat and it's just a very stylish holiday piece that is never going to go out of fashion so if you do go on a vacation a year then you can take this on your next 50 vacations and look stylish and elegant and polished every single time because once again it's not going to be going out of style anytime soon so a real vacation investment piece. This is another one that you guys went crazy over when I featured it just on my Instagram stories I haven't even posted it on my grid yet but this fabulous jumpsuit that is the waist belt this fabulous jumpsuit and especially the location that we wore it just looked so amazing so it's this pink satini material with a black palm print really striking combination a fantastic wedding guest outfit I love that it's a jumpsuit I love that it's got pockets you can pose in such a fabulous nonchalant way again you've got the crossover detail which is so popular I feel like it's just an eternal um, classic design and then the waist belt which you can tie in a bow really nice feminine detail to just pull you in again at the waist which is super flattering I have to mention the butterfly dior book tote no again i have not gone out and spent over two thousand pounds on a book tote this is a bag that i rented from the catwalk club during our trip cannot recommend renting this kind of bag enough honestly i think it's so perfect if you've got a special event so this one with the butterfly fly print is such a striking bag and with the white dresses and white robes that i was wearing it was such a fantastic way to complete the outfit and the colors i thought were so fun for somewhere as lively as ibiza so this was a fantastic addition to my holiday wardrobe as was the Loewe classic basket bag you probably spotted on my Instagram the orange one filled with stuff but the mini one I thought would be even more practical to take with me on holiday and this again is a rental from the catwalk club so I'll leave all their information linked down below because just the perfect way to get the look on holiday and then 
return it and not having to have spent hundreds of pounds on a basket bag. Okay, the last couple of pieces now. I have this beautiful blouse from River Island. I love the buttons down the back. I think that's just a really nice design detail. This I had in my head styling it with a pair of white jeans for a bit of a western look, maybe with one of my straw hats to be like a very chic cowgirl. This once again could pass. This again could pass as a Zimmerman piece. You've got the really nice trimming on the edges of the sleeves, that same trimming along the neckline, and then this beautiful lace over so it does look a lot more expensive than its high street price tag. Beautiful lightweight material as well, very breathable for warmer days. And something that was very kindly sent to me from a brand called Eberjay. This I think will make the most fantastic beach cover up if you just want something to pop on to get you to and from the beach or to look very glamorous by the pool. This is a beautiful dress. I love this detail down the middle. It's almost like a, um, not crochet, but it's not cotton, you know, it's a really thick almost wool-like material that's creating this beautiful design in the middle. V-neck, long sleeves, such lightweight material, this is going to be so breathable on a warm day. Slight elasticated detail down at the bottom of the sleeves. And then you've got that same thicker kind of wool effect down at the bottom, which I think is going to be really handy to weight the dress down so hopefully it doesn't flow up every time you walk. So I feel like I probably have forgotten something, um, but anything else maybe I will have shared with you in the try-on clips will all be linked down below. But for now, that is everything that is new in my wardrobe for June. I really hope you enjoyed looking through all the new pieces and seeing how I've styled them. There's some things that I haven't even styled yet, so hopefully this gives you a bit of an insight into what I will be wearing. Now, the temperatures are finally warm and it looks like they're here to stay so yeah i hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far and i'll see you very soon in the next one bye